Oh my god, Duke of Death is finally here. But what is up guys, Rudy here, and today we're going to be looking at the Duke of Death and what we can do on it. So this vehicle is free to returning players, so if you played on PS3 or Xbox 360 and transferred your account to PS4, PC, or Xbox One, you will get the Duke of Death for free. But if you are not a returning player, you will have to pay around $600,000 for it in-game GTA dollars. Which, to be honest, isn't that bad at all because you can make $600,000 in just a couple of hours, so it's not bad at all. And this is the way I created my Duke of Death with nice red, and obviously the interior is not really, you can't change anything of it, which is kind of sad. And plus, you only can shoot out of this front window, which is kind of disappointing, but it's whatever. The Duke of Death is finally back. And I am enjoying this vehicle so much. Uh, and also, if you guys want to change a license plate, you have to use that through the iFruit app. So if you want to change it, use the iFruit app. You can't change it in the LC Customs that way, so... But yeah, you can do a couple of modifications to this vehicle. Like I said, you can do the paint jobs, you can do the secondary paint job. You can put uh, Xeon lights on, you can put uh, neon lights on as well. But there's not really much customization, which is sad, but... The other thing is you can put on your turbo, you can put armored on, and all that kind of good stuff. And also, if you guys are looking for an armored vehicle, this would be the one. In my opinion, I think it's better than the armored Karuma, which is a pretty expensive in my opinion. And the good thing about this vehicle is when you purchase it, you purchase it, it will have bulletproof tires already on it. So you can change basically the colors, but you can add armor to it, you can do the brakes, the engine, the horn, you can put explosives on, but I wouldn't put the explosives on. And sadly, you can't sell this vehicle, which I wish I could, but it's whatever. I don't really want to sell it because, you know, it just came out and this car is pretty amazing and I love it. And so you can basically get a feeling of this car. Like back then, people were glitching it and modding it into the game and Rockstar found a way to, you know, get people pissed off by... When you order your Duke of Death out of the garage or you pull it out, the thing will automatically explode. Which, in my opinion, was actually pretty funny because it happened to me before as well. Glitched it from the PS3 to PS4 and... Yeah, uh... It kind of sucked. But, it's whatever. Uh, but, you can do just a little customizations like tire smoke, but bulletproof tires on the top left, as you guys can see. Sorry, your vehicle already has this already installed. Whatever. And I just want to show you guys quick before this uh, video ends here what the what it looks like when you open up all the doors and all that stuff. But first off, as you guys can see, the tires are bulletproof. They're already automatically bulletproof, which is pretty good. And if you guys look at it, this car looks amazing. It's so sexy. And I wish that everyone can get one because, to be honest... This is a must-have car in my opinion. It's better than the Armored Karuma as well. I think it holds up to two rockets, if I'm not wrong. I uh, think so. I think it holds up two rockets. But yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, video on the Duke of Death. And if you guys haven't, go get your Duke of Death right now. And my name is Rudy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.